Good morning. I'm curious, did anybody have a hard time getting out of bed this morning? My son did, and I think I know why. My name is Sarah, I'm a mom and I'm an astrologist. And, um, well, we have a Pisces moon going on right now. And if this kind of thing interests you, stick around. If it doesn't, that's okay, drink your water. It'll be a good thing. Um, if you prefer to get this stuff in writing, check out the link in my bio teaches you how to make a birth chart, free newsletter, sign up, and my Patreon's there. We're starting 12 magical nights on Thursday. Love for you to join us. This is our last day with a Pisces moon. And this morning at 7.07 a.m. Central Time, she met up with Neptune. And Neptune is the planet of our dreams, unconditional love. The high road of Neptune is prayer, spirituality, sleep, <laughs> dreaming, Hence why I asked if you had a college kid that maybe had a hard time waking up. My son literally got up at 8 a.m. Hasn't gotten up at 8 a.m. since he got back from college. Got up at 8 a.m., showered, and then fell asleep on my couch. Now he's sleeping in his bed because he didn't want to listen to me do these recordings. The low road of Neptune is catastrophizing. It's feeling like you're the victim. This is all the low road too of Pisces, by the way. And we are building to the first quarter moon that's going to happen at 12.39 p.m. And I've been talking about it the last few days. So these, this tension that's inside of you is building all day and it will start to feel different come this afternoon. Now, as we move into the evening, the moon is going to shift into Aries. And so if you're a parent, Bedtime might be a little bit of a challenge only because that's a double fire sky. Our sun is in a fire sign and our moon is in a fire sign. So maybe this evening, having them play, having them get some of the wiggles out before you go to have them go to bed might be helpful. I'll talk more about Aries tomorrow though. So did you have interesting dreams last night? Let me know. Neptune, when, when Neptune is strong in the sky, that kind of thing happens. I had very vivid dreams. Like I had a dream that somebody who I know was giving me a massage around my throat, which tells me I probably need to make sure that I'm protecting my throat or at least using my voice. That's what it feels like it was telling me. What are your dreams feeling like it's telling you?